today I'm going to show how to uh, launch a, a small class up on a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you, take you through the code. Uh, if you look at uh, this small code, uh, I have a uh, Docker file have created uh, expose port 5000 and uh, installing class and then uh, based on the Python 3.8 and I have a service file and the deployment file uh, which all of those files can be downloaded from my github uh, which I'm going to share the link in the uh, YouTube description section so let's start uh, building our app so first we have to do is that uh, uh, you can go here and uh, in, op activate the cloud shell and then in your cloud shell make sure that you upload all the file to your cloud shell so the first command i'm going to do is that uh, start creating the kubernetes cluster because it's going to take a bit of a time to launch so uh, uh, i'm going to start uh, typing the command to create a kubernetes cluster g cloud container clusters create I'm going to create an auto cluster rather than giving uh, uh, node numbers or uh, uh, node numbers because that would be uh, automatically Google will uh, take care of the cluster deployment and the node numbers so I'm going to give a name for my cluster I my cluster and then I'm gonna give the region so I'm gonna say region equal US dash central one US US central one I'm gonna launch my Kubernetes cl cluster in a US central one so it's gonna start creating my cluster you can see that it start working on if we go to the uh, Kubernetes uh, engine in Google Cloud from here you can see this start uh, uh, launching my auto pilot mode cluster so the next thing that we have to do is I have to create my uh, container image so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to open another tab and start uh, uh, building my container image LSVD project LSVD I can see that my all the files are here so now I'm gonna start building my uh, docker uh, docker image gcloud build don't worry guys about this any of this command I'm gonna share uh, share all those command in my uh, YouTube description section or uh, in uh, github build sub submit and then we need to tag so and then uh, we need to tag our come on uh, our image so I'm gonna look at uh, one of my old image and take the path for the image uh, if you are doing it the first time uh, you can uh, just type uh, this path and then uh, your project name 
gcr.io dash project name and then uh, your web app name name that you're going to give to the web app and then dot um and to start so it's going to build my web app meantime we can check with the how the cluster develop deployment is happening Just successfully uh, launch my web app. Now uh, I'm waiting till my Kubernetes cluster is getting started. You can if you are uh, refreshing your go to your container registry image from Google container image here and then you will come to a uh, location like this this is my web app if you that's the latest one uh, I go to my web app too there should be a new one one minute ago so now I am waiting for my cluster to be open it's still not started guys so now it seems to be still working on the cluster so this is successful I'm just waiting to my cluster to come online meantime i'll take you through uh, some of the things uh, in my uh, deployment app so i'm going to create a three replicas here this is my app name and this is the location that i'm going to have my uh, container registry path so basically this is uh, if you go to uh, your container registry after you upload everything you need to take this this particular path which you gave earlier including the latest part copy that whole thing and replace here the image and this is the load balancer it 88 10 target port is uh, 80 and then the target port is 5000 let's check whether our kubernetes cluster is ready still uh, it's uh, working on the community cluster guys I'm gonna pass forward a little bit here okay guys my cluster is ready now uh, it has uh, so I'm gonna check uh, cluster now first So it's uh, still uh, getting it ready. So cluster node is here. And then uh, since the cluster node is getting ready, I'm going to check it again. I think uh, we need to wait till this is part is over. But uh, still you can start uh, deploying. It won't be any issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take my development file deployment file and uh, apply as command is uh, kubectl apply dash f and then the deployment yaml file name 
so this will create the port three replicas so this is warning because of that we didn't wait till this uh, part to be over let's see whether the knob is still working on it so let's look at our port whether it's ready still pending so we need to wait till the So you can see that uh, earlier the message you can't see from there. So that's when uh, nodes are ready. And now I'm gonna look at the ports. Ports are still pending. So I'm gonna give another couple of seconds. At the same time, if you go to Kubernetes cluster, meantime, so you can see the cluster is ready. So it's uh, start allocating resource to the cluster. So it has allocated 1.5 CPU and six gigabyte six GB RAM. This is inside the cluster. So you can check out the details such as CPU. And here from here, you can take the logs. Let's check whether the ports are ready. It's still, uh, can you see that pending and creating the container stage? Start change it to that. So if you look at the nodes, they are ready. They have created new nodes as well. So two ports is start running. So now I'm gonna start uh, you launching apply my um, service ML again cube CTL apply dash F I'm gonna copy my flash F name from here and then paste it then enter So it says the service is created. So now I'm gonna go and look at again on the ports. All the ports are running. Now I'm gonna look at the service app. So it still is pending. So if still haven't assigned the external V uh, IP address to way to look at it so I'm gonna give a couple of seconds so now new external uh, IP address it has been allocated I'm gonna go copy my external IP address like this and then take a web page HTTP dash dash you can see guys hello hello uh, list there our web app is perfectly working so now if you go to the cluster cluster is already access resources so now we need to delete our cluster uh, to complete our task so I'm gonna start uh, uh, deleting cluster you can delete from here or otherwise you can delete from the command front uh, before that I'm gonna show you some how, how you can see the logs of that so if you wanted to see logs you can uh, type Q CTL and then logs dash l then app and then your app name so sorry guys cube ctl 
so dash l app equal slash app okay guys i'm just typing the wrong command again and again it should be c t l so you can see that all these uh, logs your app name you can find it from uh, here this is the app name this is the app name that you give so okay guys now i'm gonna delete my cluster so you can do g cloud you can delete it from here or you can delete from the con from the command line as well so i'm gonna delete it from here guys uh, to save some time make sure you delete your cluster because uh, otherwise it's going to cost you money thank you guys that's all